Yes, that is my going rate. If you'd like to hire me, you can call 867-5309. Let's get to cleaning, because my house needs it. I had big plans today. My house was in shambles, as it is, and literally every room needed some, I want to say TLC, but I think I'm going to call it MT. It needed a mother's touch <laughs> from Kim's cleaning service at your service. So that's exactly what I was going to do. And my plan was to go one room at a time. I was going to start at one side of the house and move my way through every single room. And I feel like I succeeded 70% of the way. <laughs> and I say that because um, I initially thought, oh yeah, I'll have plenty of time to do the kids' rooms as well, but I didn't. So I just really focused on the living areas or not living areas aside from our bedroom the I don't I don't know what they're called man I basically just did the bathrooms and I did Meredith's room I did living room kitchen our bedroom our bedroom and bathroom really took me the most time I feel like it was the most neglected well I don't know most neglected it's been a couple weeks since it had had a, a good cleaning and man can I just tell you the difference I feel like mentally having a clean space is so much better. Not just being able to walk into my bedroom and think, oh, oh gosh, it feels so light and airy in here. But also because we have people over all the time in and out, our front door is revolving. And so, you know, oftentimes people are all over our house. They need a band-aid. They got to come in here. You know what I mean? So it's just nice. It's, it's, I don't mean, I don't have to explain it to you. You understand it's nice to have a clean house, right? It just takes time and some weeks are busier than others. It's toward the end of the school year. So I know it is a busy time for a lot of people. Um, <laughs> I'm freaking out right now because, okay, I'll, I'll try to finish my thoughts, but no promises. Okay. So this was, I think a weekend and we had people over in the lake and you know when they come in from the lake they have to rinse off and i'm really i've really been thinking because people have been asking oh are you gonna get a pool do you guys have plans for a pool listen pools are expensive and maybe down the road but we have been quite enjoying the lake obviously we haven't been at this house for very long <laughs> i'm shaking my head like oh, oh man what is my life did you see the disaster that was in my shower? Okay, hold on. One thought at a time. Pool. No current plans to get a pool. Maybe in the future. I don't want to like say no, but also keeping up with the pool. Like we had a pool in our last house and it was lovely having a pool, having somewhere for the kids to play. But we have a lake here that the kids go in um, and it's nice for them to take a dip in the lake. But also every time they come in from the lake, they need to rinse off so I have been thinking of putting a like some kind of outdoor shower even if it's just like I mean I've, I've seen them all over the place they it's just like uh, and we have <laughs> oh my gosh there's so much in my brain we have something outside that I feel like would facilitate you know there's like a hose out there or whatever maybe we'll just hose the kids down when <laughs> before they come inside Maybe that would save our our electricity bill a little bit. We have well water, so we don't necessarily have a water bill, but it does affect our electricity bill because, you know, when we have kids over and then they have to shower every time they come in from the lake. And so, so any, okay. So this particular day, the kids enjoy coming in our shower to rinse off from the lake because, you know, who doesn't love their parents' shower? It's it's just, it was always such a vacation, right? When you go into your parents' shower, ooh, it's so much cooler in here. Even though, I don't know, I feel like it's, well, the thing with our shower is it has two shower heads, which is very, very cool. But since the kids come in here, they also use up my things. They're using up my uh, conditioner that I recently bought and I use my stuff sparingly like I use that stuff like gold 
just a little bit and I soak it up. I enjoy it. But when the kids go in there, they don't care. What do they care, right? So they just glop it all over the place. They spill it all over that I, you know, obviously had to clean up. And then for whatever reason, there were like three sopping wet towels on the bathtub. And now I know why, because inside the bathtub, as you can see, we took one of the handles off of the tub because um, little Meredith would come in here and say, ready for a bath, even though she, there is no reason for her to have a bath. And we don't even use this tub for a bath for multiple reasons. And I may get into that if I remember, but we took that handle off <laughs> because she just kept turning it on for whatever reason she doesn't touch the other one. So we left it on. I digress. Oh, because it's hot. It's hot and our water comes out hot right away. So she's like, oh, this is hot. She doesn't like it, I think. Anyway, the tub stopper was in and there was a little bit of water in the tub. So that must be how the other towels got sopping wet. I just threw them in the wash. It's fine, whatever. But in doing that, there was like the tub needed to be cleaned as well. So it was a mess in here. And then the kids like, you know, they drip drop through the house trying to walk all the way to their bedroom to get dressed, even though they have a towel. I, you know, I just, kids. <laughs> so, so I said, okay, no more showering in mommy's room. And Wentworth's shower is just as nice. And there's a door from the outside to his shower. So that makes the most sense. But when there's several people needing to rinse off at the same time, typically they go into each, you know, the different bathrooms. So that was a very uh, short story long and it was unnecessary, but there it is. It's a story you didn't ask for <laughs> of why I'm upset that half of my deep conditioner is used up and I had to scrub it and I wanted to cry scrubbing it. I mean, it wasn't even that expensive. It's like seven bucks from TJ Maxx, but it's like the, it's the fact that it was special to me. <laughs> Even though it sounds so stupid because it's just a uh, deep conditioner. Anyway, I just, I like to use that stuff sparingly. And I, you know, when you have a new shampoo or conditioner or whatever, and, or even a body wash, I don't know. Am I, I can't, I know I'm not the only person who like, oh, this is, you know, makes me feel a little fancy in the shower having, you know, things that smell good and stuff. And I digress. Okay, so I needed to clean and it was my plan to do like a pretty thorough, not not super deep, but thorough clean. And I will tell you, it's been several days. Hey, oh, that was my tip for the day for Kim's cleaning service. Ah, your service. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> no, some of you are like, please stop. Okay, so... Our toilet obviously needed to have a little scrub down in there. And I was using my favorite, okay, I thought I had a favorite toilet scrub. I usually buy it from Thrive Market, but they stopped selling it. They started selling different brands and stuff. Be I loved this one so much because of the scent. It kind of smelled like pine, but not in a super artificial way. And I, I don't know how else to explain. I just really enjoyed it, okay? And it was more of like a natural thing natural cleaner which is what I gravitate toward but I don't know I still haven't found one that I love a lot I just kind of rotate through different ones but um I when I was clean when I'm cleaning later in the day I'll show you but I found my new favorite toilet bowl cleaner never thought I'd say that welcome to adulthood <laughs> yes you have a favorite burner on your stove and you also have a favorite toilet bowl cleaner don't tell me you don't, because I know you do. <laughs> so um, I it, w it was actually left by the previous owner. So I'm going to have to go to the store, and hopefully they still sell it. I don't even know. So um, in doing so, I decided cleaning top to bottom, right? I needed to do our floors. And our bathroom floors actually weren't that bad, but our bedroom floors, there were like sprinkles everywhere, because Meredith had a sprinkle party. You guys know she likes her sprinkle parties. So I knew I had to do the floors. So I kind of just carried, and I, you know what? I don't have a cleaning caddy. Oh, and here's my closet. I said, Kim, don't skip your closet. Like I'm literally going space by space here. And it just, oh my gosh, it felt so good at the end. While I was doing it, it actually didn't take me as long as I thought it would. 
sometimes I build it up in my mind like, oh, it's going to take me forever. And in reality, it, it just, I mean, obviously it took me forever because I was doing a lot at one time. And typically that's what I enjoy doing. If I get into like a cleaning mode, you know, I just got to snap into Kim's cleaning service. <laughs> I promise. I, I hope I don't say that again. Okay. So I, um, I, I enjoy doing multiple things at once rather than just doing little tasks at a time, even though obviously daily cleaning tasks need to be done little bits at a time. But I think you get what I'm saying. Like, you know, one day on the weekend or whatever, everyone pitches in and just does cleans up a bit. The, the kids ended up cleaning their bedrooms, so I didn't clean their bedrooms, but every other room in the house I took care of. That's a lie because I cleaned Meredith's bedroom, but I digress. Uh, the floors are something that I feel like, even if everything's tidy and the floors are not cleaned, it doesn't feel tidy, you know what I mean? It just feels so much cleaner when your floors are cleaned. And you guys know I recently, f oh, okay, hold on. Two things I wanna talk about. The Bissell Crosswave, you guys know I'm just in love with that thing. It saves me so much time where we have so many wood floors slash area rugs in the same space. Whereas our last house we had, um, you know, a third of our house was just the wood floor and then the rest of the house was carpet so I could just vacuum one side and then mop you know sweep and mop the other side but this house is like mostly wood floors and then tiles and stuff but then we have area rugs all over the place so I, I find that the crystal boss crop the wow the crystal boss wave is fantastic because it saves me time I don't have to sweep, then mop, then vacuum. I j it does it all at once. Not only does it vacuum, it like cleans your carpets a little bit at a time. And it the solution that I use doesn't give off a really strong scent, which I personally enjoy because, I mean, I have like a, cr a Bissell, <laughs> I almost called it a crystal again, a Bissell uh, carpet cleaner that you know, obviously I used previously to like deep clean the carpets. I use it to I mean, I would still use it to deep clean the carpets, but I haven't used it in quite some time. Um, but the solution for that is very strong, but the solution for the Crosswave is not, and I enjoy that. I'm sure you can find a solution that is if that's your thing, but that's not my thing. Okay. And then I wanted to tell you guys about the cleaner that I decided to use on literally everything today. It is a wall cleaner, and I think I whipped it out because... I had something on the door, the bathroom door that I needed to wipe down. So I just grabbed it real quick. And I remember last time I used it was the first time I used it in my one of my previous cleaning videos. And I wasn't sure how I felt about the scent. I knew I liked it. It was a scent that lingers and it smells clean. And I really enjoyed it. It, it smelled like if Kim's cleaning service had a scent. <laughs> This would be it. And I, I mean, it doesn't smell like anything that I can pinpoint or explain to you, which is probably frustrating, but I, I enjoy it. And so I ended up using it on like everything. I use it on my desk. I used it on my dresser, my bed, uh, you know, the headboard and footboard and all like literally everywhere. Is it good for wood? I don't know. I just used it anyway. And honestly, I was about to use it on my kitchen counters. <laughs> That's how much I like it. Uh, I will try to link it below, but it's basically just a wall cleaner I got off Amazon. You can kind of see the bottle, but not really. I think it's called like home something. I don't know. Just basically find a cleaner that you enjoy and I'm sure it'll be fine on any surface. It might leave some streaks. This one didn't really leave streaks. I didn't, I didn't find. But even if it did, I don't really care about that stuff. <laughs> as long as it's wiped down and feels clean. You see all those sprinkles on my floor? Yeah, that's from the sprinkle party. You know, sometimes you just got to let your kids live. You just got to let your kids be kids and have a sprinkle party. You know? <laughs> Honestly, they're from my rumbles. <laughs> they're from the rumbles that I made. Oh, yes, you guys. Uh, yes, I love the rumballs. And guess what? Meredith does too. She calls them, I think she calls them sprinkle parties. <laughs> and I love that. So I'm going to start calling them sprinkle parties. But, you know, are they the healthiest thing? No, but they're a treat and it's fine. But I do plan on making a healthier version. 
because I do have a, it's like a date ball and I just roll them in sprinkles and add uh, rum extract. And for me, they taste very similar. So I'm going to, next time I make them, I'm going to use the healthy version to make myself feel a little better about it, but they're still covered in sprinkles. So it's a treat, right? Yes. Plus dates are like nature's candy. Gotta love it. Okay. So here's uh, the cross wave in action. I'm going from, you know, carpet to hardwood. Man, it feels so good. Mmm, Dr. Seuss who? Oh, and there it is. Oh, wow. I didn't show you a before shot, but all that stuff that was on my dresser, I put it there. Well, some of it was still from Easter. There was a yellow bin that I had a couple of things in. You saw the Frida package. Oh, I forgot to wash my windows. So I just did that really quickly. And I'm really trying to go through this window. Gosh, what is it called? I feel like everyone loves it. It's the best window cleaner I've ever, it's so strong. The smell is so strong. I'm literally just, I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping that today was the day that I would be able to go through it all and finish it up. But nope, it's still going strong, man. I've had it for like seven years. <laughs> That's how it feels anyway. Okay, so back to the crap on my dresser that you probably saw 20 minutes ago. This video isn't even 20 minutes in, but you, you know, you get me. We tend to dramatize things over here. Not a dramatization at all. That's just life. What was I saying? The yellow bucket. You saw the Freedom Mom like postpartum kit in there. And I got a couple of other things from Target. And I was going to share a Target haul. And I actually filmed so, um, some stuff. But I ended up not. It just, I don't know. It didn't work. <laughs> there wasn't a lot of stuff. And it was, I thought it was boring a little bit. So I ended up just putting that stuff away. What are the most exciting things that I got from Target? Mm. Oh, I got some Elf Wow Brow because everyone and their mom was like talking, raving about it. You know, I watched some makeup YouTubers too, you know, and I, I don't know. I may be stuck in my ways. I used the Elf Powder Brow stuff and I thought, man, I don't know. And you know what? Mine is like seven years old, so that's maybe why I think oh this isn't working so well anymore <laughs> maybe because it's old and I need to buy a new one but I thought oh let me try something different no it just didn't work out for me the the elf wow brow no thank you so um that was one thing that I bought and then I bought like I don't know a pair of shoes for Eleanor or Meredith and I just a bunch of stuff that doesn't matter I mean I didn't even buy that much I digress back to the cleaning Oh, guess who had an accident on the floor over there? We don't have a pet, so you can guess. Potty training is so much fun. So if you're going through that, I feel you. I got some, <laughs> some. Um, I used the wall cleaner and then I used some antibacterial, I think it's like bathroom cleaner on that. So no worries, okay? And yes, if you're wondering, oh, Kim, you're, I see you're using a green rag throughout this whole video. It's the same one. It's fine. It's like one of those fancy ones that's antimicrobial and um, doesn't hold in any bacteria. I'm totally kidding. I go through like 20 of these when I clean. One time I made a joke about how it was the same one and didn't say, oh, just kidding afterward. And I got so many comments like, please, that's gross. Please don't need that. And I was like, come on, guys. You think I'm that? Like, I, I get it. I get it. You might think I'm gross, but I'm not that gross. Okay. Okay, do you remember the carpet that I bought the other day for our kitchen or that little runner? I got it off Amazon. It was a decent price. And I got it because the one that I initially bought, you see that? The wads on the window. I'm trying to be creative, but it didn't work out. Um, I was like, what can I write to try to waste some of this spray? <laughs> There's still so much left. Okay, so the carpets, I bought one initially when we moved in and it is, a, first of all, a bear to clean. And second of all, we, we just didn't like it. It didn't work in the space. And it, the type of material it was, everything would just fall under it. It wasn't, I don't know. It didn't work out for us. So I ended up buying a new one, which was probably a quarter of the price that of the first one that I bought. And I put the first one outside. I feel like that would be a nice rug for outside. And so Alex was just putting on some of the rug corner grippers or I don't know what they're called gorilla grips or something like that he just bought some off Amazon and 
they're working great so far because initially when I bought that rug, I thought there was a non-slip grip at the bottom. And I don't know if there is or isn't, but at our kitchen um, sink, I have one of those like fluffy mats. So I think because part of it was raised and then the rest of it was flat because of the, the mat that I have isn't as long as the carpet. Um, it just slipped all over the place, okay? And so we got those slipper grippers and it worked beautifully. I, we, I mean, we've only had them for like four days, so I can't talk about the longevity of it, but so far so good, enjoying it. Hey, did you see all that gunk that was in the sliding glass door? I meant to vacuum that before Easter. <laughs> so I guess that's how long it's been since I've done like a nice cleaning. I did clean the windows before Easter and obviously the rest of the house was tidy, but that was just one thing that I didn't get to. And obviously like there's things like that all around my house all the time. And I feel like that's normal. Like we're, my house, I can't speak for anyone else, but my house, not everything is going to be clean all at once. Try as I may, but it's just not going to happen. And even if it does, it doesn't last long. I have kids and that's fine. Like we live here. We live in this house. I, I don't, it's not a showroom. You know what I mean? It's not meant to be clean 24 seven, meant to be tidy, maybe, but not super clean. So I fi I was happy that I finally got to vacuuming that and honestly it does feel nice to have a little bit more energy these days to be able to do more in a day than I could do you know a month ago or so you know I've moved my way to Meredith's room and I'm just tidying up she has I put okay a lot to say about this I feel like when we moved her into this room into this house. She had a taller bed before. Actually, I think she was in a crib. And instead of transitioning her into a taller bed, which I've done with all of my kids, I thought, oh, let, let's just put her right into a, a, a twin bed. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. She needs to be in a taller bed. <laughs> this bed is so tall. I'm so worried that she's going to just roll off of it all the time. So um, she, you know, when she wakes up, she just sits up and it's fine, but I'm worried. So on the sides of her bed, I put, man, I can't even tell you how many times my camera fell while I was filming. Okay. So I put sleeping bags. We have a bunch of sleeping bags. So that's kind of where we store the sleeping bags under her bed. And then when it's nighttime, I just pull them out from under her bed to the sides of her bed. So just in case she falls, she has a soft landing, <laughs> you know, anyway, when we um, add on, because we're adding on to our house, because this is technically an office, check the doors. You know, would you want those doors on your bedroom? I mean, as a two-year-old, you don't care, but as a 10-year-old, you know, I'm like, anyway, <laughs> anyway. So we're adding on to the house. This will turn into an office slash uh, like formal living room, kind of. My vision for this is to have like a stone wall, that back wall kind of have like some kind of natural stone on it. I don't know. I just really like natural stone. We'll do something like that in there. But my office space doesn't, like I don't need much. I need a desk and that's pretty much it. You know what I mean? So the rest of it will probably just be like a sitting area, a nice little cozy spot. That's my vision at least. We'll see if anything actually happens. But when we move, short story long, when we finally move Meredith to her final destination bedroom, which will be Eleanor's bedroom now, I will put a toddler bed in there. <laughs> oh, did you need to know that story? No, but what else am I going to tell you? You know? Hey, I'm watching. Um, oh, who am I watching? Stephanie Harlow. I think crime. Nope. I'm watching that chapter. He's fantastic too. Yesterday while I was editing the clips of this, just editing it down, I was listening to Crime Watch Weekly. Do any of you watch uh, are like super into true crime? I feel like whenever I need to just listen to someone, oh my gosh, and one day I wasn't feeling well or I woke up really early. <laughs> you know, I turned on because uh, I like to watch food videos and I thought, God, I, who am I going to watch, right? I turned on Jessica O'Donohue. Is that, am I saying her channel name right? She's fantastic. She's so sweet. I really adore her. Um, if you don't know who she is, I think you'll really enjoy her channel. If you like, um, she shares a lot of recipes and stuff. So 
I quite enjoyed that. So I feel like I watched a million of her videos. I watched so many that YouTube keeps recommending like her videos from two years ago <laughs> to me. So that's really fun to like go back, you know? Anyway, when I'm cleaning, I like to either put on a podcast. I don't have ear pods. So when I'm vacuuming or anything, when I'm using that tool, that Bissell, I can't hear <laughs> anything, so it's not the best. But I also don't want ear pods. I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. I don't like things in my ears. I don't know, man. I know they're really popular. Do you have earbuds or whatever? If I can't hear something, I typically just like start blasting the music or I'm just patient and I wait. Sometimes I clean with nothing. Sometimes silence is golden, you know? Do you feel that way or are you, are you, do you need the stimulation of something? Anything better than listening to kids scream, I think is good, <laughs> is golden. Hey, speaking of being creative, I thought, what can I write on here? Clean, that's a good word, because we're cleaning today. Hmm, look at that. Are you actually, are you cleaning today? I can't say we, because I'm cleaning today. It felt good. I haven't washed this mirror since we moved in here, but really we're barely in this dining room. But when we are, oh boy, do we make a mess. <laughs> I feel like whenever we have uh, guests, this is a nice place to go because the table, we have the leaf in the table, so it holds a couple more people than the table in our kitchen. But if it's just us at dinner time, which honestly, I feel like it rarely is, um, we eat at the kitchen table. Oh my gosh, speaking of that cauldron, do you remember when I got that? It's the, that is my pride and joy. My prized possession. That cauldron is from the 1800s. It is um, verified. Is that the right term to use? Uh, man, that is one of my favorite things that I have ever bought. If I told you how much I paid, you'd probably be like, Kim, you crazy. You don't like to spend $6 on nothing, but... You'll spend that much on a cauldron? Heck yes, I will. Because I'm going to have that cauldron for the rest of my stinking life. And every time I see it, it brings me joy. It makes me feel like a witch. It makes me feel like <laughs> I'm connected to my ancestors. Oh, man, that's funny. Uh, anyway, it is authentic. Oh, that's probably the word. It is authenticated. And it's just so cool. It's one of the coolest pieces. I love vintage pieces. I wish I had more of them eventually throughout my life. I'm sure I will collect bits and pieces, but for now I have that and the um, antique German bench that you saw me clean earlier and maybe a couple other things. I have like an old school bell. I don't know, but definitely the cauldron is the coolest. And I feel like no one gets to see it. <laughs> I feel like I should move it to a different spot in my house to showcase it, but also it's kind of like a hidden gem, you know? Like, ooh, what's this? Anyway, hey, speaking of things that I want to do to our house, I, um, oh, ooh, this is number one, numero uno of the mop. So gross, isn't it? Man, it's so gross. It Like, what? We're walking around, and I get it. Like, you know, kids, tra I mean, they're outside all the time, my kids, so they obviously come in and out of the house. We don't wear shoes in the house, but it's not to say that they go outside and then walk inside really quickly to get something or whatever. So it's inevitable. Stuff gets tracked in. Dirt, mud, crap, whatever the heck I just vacuumed up. Look at the power of that vacuum, by the way. Amazing. It's a sweet mop and vacuum all in one. Man, this thing saves me so much time. I just, I really enjoy it. And you know what? <laughs> I get my use out of it. I feel like I use it e almost every single day. And I use, I spent a lot of money on it. It was like $200 it, and that was on sale. And um, some of them are double that price. So I don't know. I feel like I got a decent price on it and I'm hoping it lasts a long time. And I'm, you know, I'll let you guys know. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I was going to say something else before I started talking about that. Just came back. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. Anyone? Man, you know what I've been loving? Okay, first of all, I'm going to forget what I was about to tell you again. But you know what I've been loving lately? 70s and 80s music. That, I mean, there's something so special about the jams back in those days, you know? Oh my gosh, I saw a meme the other day. It's like the audacity that my parents, uh, you know, radio stations have for playing the music hits that I love. What is happening with that bowl? 
That's really freaking me out. What? What is that? Is that... Like, I clearly didn't notice it in real life. Wow. Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just got mesmerized by that. What I want to do with my house is add pictures of my kids. I need to add. Not need to. But last year we had um, like a family photo shoot. I like to have one once a year. And... I don't have any of those pictures up in my house. And I love the pictures. I think they're fantastic. I just haven't had a chance to like print them out and hang them up. So that's my plan. I also need frames. And my gosh, are frames expensive? First of all, the print is expensive. Well, expensive is relative. Obviously, I spent $100 on the vintage cauldron. You know, a print is $16 on sale at Shutterfly. <laughs> but I have to buy four of them. <laughs> and on top of buying the prints, I also have to buy frames because I don't have four matching um, frames. And the prints are large. They're like 16 by 20 prints. So it's not like a four by six. You know what I mean? I would like to get large prints of the kiddos. So anyway, I've been on the hunt for some frames. I haven't been able to really find any. I've been looking at home goods because that's where I got them from, a, you know, a few years ago when I bought them. But uh, one of them broke. Well, actually, two of them broke. I kind of fixed one, but kind of not. <laughs> so anyway, I've been on the lookout for that. So if you know of a place to get frames for a decent price, because I want to say from home goods for a 20 by 16 frame, I spent about, I mean, I'm. I'm sure it probably still has the price tag on it and go look, but I think it was about $16, somewhere around there. I hope I didn't spend anything more than 20 and I, I don't know. I can't tell you for sure because I'm pretty sure that's how I broke one of the frames is the, well, the glass on the frame anyway, because I was trying to clean off the price sticker. Why do they do that? Those stickers are impossible to get off. I hate them. I, anyway, I've clearly moved on to my kitchen and hey, our dishwasher is still not in. So that's real fun. <laughs> Ale I, I asked Alex, are you going to call Lowe's today and see? Because they told us our washing machine would be in by now and it they haven't even called us. And our dishwasher, they said, was going to take a little bit longer, but it's been over two weeks. Well, over two weeks since it's broke. I think at least a week since um, we ordered it. So hopefully it'll be here soon because right now we're hand washing everything and that is a joy. And I know some of you don't even have a washing machine or a dishwasher and we lived that life for years. Um, even though we had a dishwasher, we never used it in our old house. Well, we used it in our previous house, but in our townhouse, we never used it. And actually what a luxury we had when we lived in uh, Europe, we had a dishwasher in our kitchen, which is pretty rare or was rare when we lived there. And we never used it. Obviously, back then it was just Alex and I. So we didn't go through as many dishes as we do now. Oh my gosh, and cups. Does anyone have an issue with cups? Man, I'll tell you what. Like, we can have two extra kids over just hanging out. And it's like we go through 17 extra cups in one <laughs> Like, what is happening? Are you guys getting a new cup every time you need a sip of water? This is not okay. So... <laughs> That's an ongoing problem. That's not a new issue. I feel like I'm always like, get the cups, you know? And Alex is like, I'd rather them get a new cup and have to wash cups than have them get sick by, you know, drinking after each other and stuff. So, I don't know, pros and cons, right? I used the, uh, <laughs> I'm still using the wall cleaner. I'm using the wall cleaner on the table. I used it on the cabinet tree that I just wiped off. <laughs> it makes me laugh because, you know, I have all different cleaners. I have wood cleaner. I have granite cleaner. I have, I probably have um, cabinet cleaner. Who the heck knows? But I ended up just using this. And I don't, I don't know. I think it's funny. Okay. Back to reality. I feel like this is when I was kind of running out of gas. And I may have eaten something. I'm sure I stopped in between and ate something oh my gosh you know what I'm eating right now next to me Miss Vicky's spicy dill pickle chips you guys some of the best 
snacks I've ever had. Miss Vicky's spicy dill pickle chips. I got them from Costco because it must be that time of year where where they bring them out. So stock up. But also I feel like if I buy too many, then I'll eat them all at once, you know? I don't know. If you're looking for them, I think they're back at Costco because they're back at mine. Don't get the jalapeno ones. That's just my PSA. The spicy dill pickle is where it's at. If you've never had them before, they're probably expensive when you buy like a single portion size bag. So do not recommend, but I don't know. If you see it at Costco, go for it. You know, I never really know what I'm going to say during these videos, but here we are. <laughs> I'm Kurt. Alex and I are currently planning like our summer vacations because summer is right around the corner, you guys. There's only a few, is there less than three weeks of school left? I don't know when this is going up, but um, our school I, it has a different um, ending date than other schools, and I'm sure your school is no different. It depends on when you started or whatever. But there's, it's a very short time until summer happens, and I just can't even believe it. Where did the year go? Unreal. But we are enjoying, well, I say enjoying with uh, air quotes over here because planning summer vacations as a family can really get expensive fast, right? But it's like having fun and making memories. Can you put a price on fun? And the answer to that is yes, absolutely you can. Have you seen the ticket prices for Disney? <laughs> We're not going to Disney. Uh, initially we planned on it because uh, typically we go every three years and this would be the third year. But we decided against it. I feel like there are so many other things to do in Orlando. We are generously gifted a hotel stay from Alex's grandparents in, or well, it could be anywhere, but we pick Orlando every year. I feel like there's some, it's like, you know, close enough where we don't have to buy airfare or, you know, travel. We don't have to spend money on travel because we live in Tampa. So it's close enough, but it's far enough away where we're not tempted to just be like, oh, well, we can just drive home. You know what I mean? It's a nice getaway. And that's what Alex's grandparents uh, gift to their grandkids at Christmas time. They book like a hotel stay for them. They use like points and stuff. So we pick summertime and then we're also vacationing at the same time as one of Alex's other cousins with kids. And it's just a joy to, you know, see our kids and their kids. It just it's always fun to like vacation with more family members. You know what I mean? So we're planning out all the things that we want to do. And while it's pricey, <laughs> I am excited. Um, and because like I said, there's a lot of stuff to do in Orlando. More than, I feel like when people think of Orlando, they just think Disney, which obviously is probably what it's known for the most. But, oh, I don't know. We like to venture around, you know, do different things. And speaking of summer, I was wondering if you had an, any summer plans. Are you doing anything fun? Are you going anywhere? Are you doing a staycation? Sometimes, just I mean, for us, obviously, we live close to the beach, but sometimes just taking a beach trip or a beach day. And <laughs> I can't even believe it is May. It's going to be May. It is May, but we have not been to the beach yet. I can't believe I can't even remember the last time we went to the beach. Um, wow. <laughs> I don't know. But we haven't had a beach day yet. But sometimes during the summertime, we like to do that. Just take beach days and stuff. Uh, and, and that's just a nice day. Like a family day to get away. Fun in the sun. Uh, and then we all get sunburn. You know, second degree burns. And that's not fun. Oh, the second... Um, not layer. The second round of mud. Isn't that fun? I don't know. It makes me feel good like seeing that. I'm like, ugh. Although I will say when I watch other cleaning channels, watching them dump that in the toilet, oh my, I don't know if it's because of my horrible morning sickness, but I just can't. So I spared you guys that. I can't, I can't watch that. <laughs> it's so gross. And more than that, they like put it in the thumbnail. I'm like, why? Stop that. You got to stop, man. So anyway, <laughs> I'm taking the wall cleaner that I love so much. And, uh, oh, maybe we can see the name. No, home something. <laughs> I mean, I can obviously shoot a picture on the screen. But just randomly around the house, a lot, a lot of times it's around door frames and stuff. There's just smudges everywhere. I got kids, then they're gross. 
<laughs> they just touch everything. They get stuff everywhere. They got sticky hands. They don't always wash their hands. You know, sometimes they're eating something literally and then they run to do something. Like, what are you doing? So um, I don't even know what this is on the door frame, but here it is. That wall cleaner took it right off, man. I'll tell you what, it's magic. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> I don't think it's all natural, but it smells good. Anyway, so I was just going around the house spot cleaning little spots like that and I feel like that makes such a difference when you're cleaning the house too and that's what we do here at Kim's cleaning service we make sure your home is free of spots and drops and <laughs> I should come up with a mission statement wouldn't that be funny okay anyway I feel you know because little smudges like that can also make my house look feel like dirtier or look dirtier oh this is it this is it. Why is all I have to, why? Literally takes 10 seconds. You guys, I'm giving you a little tutorial. If you need to bring your kids in the room and show them, step one, step two, step three. Do you feel me? It's amazing. Isn't that amazing? A little tutorial for you there to change the toilet paper roll. You can do it. I know you can. Just takes 10 seconds. <laughs> Man, it always drives me nuts. Well, the worst part is sometimes uh, they like put it on top of the roll. <laughs> you know, I'm like, really? Really? Come on. Anyway, that it makes me laugh when they do that, honestly. For now, I don't get as annoyed as maybe some people do, but it makes me laugh. Kids will be kids and they'll ha honestly, they'll have to change plenty of roles as an adult, right? Oh, okay, this is what I'm excited about. So I sprayed it in the toilet because I didn't carry. Oh, that's what I was going to say earlier, like 40 minutes ago. I don't have a caddy to carry all of my cleaning supplies around the house. So I normally just bear hug them all <laughs> between each room. And then I've got the tripod and everything else. So um, I think that'll be on my list of things to get is a cleaning caddy. But since I didn't have my toilet bowl cleaner with me, I, this one always stays in this bathroom. And so I squirted it in there and I let it sit for a little bit. And I said, what is that amazing smell? Scrubbing bubbles. First of all, is that even for the toilet? I feel like it is. It doesn't say toilet anywhere on it, but it does say scrubbing bubbles and it does have other words on there, <laughs> which I feel like are, is good for cleaning. So um, I'm using it and whatever scent is, what did it say? Febreze or something? I don't even know. I don't think so. But whatever it is, amazing. It smelled so dang good. I don't know if they sell it anywhere. I'm going to have to check the Target app or whatever. Maybe it's at my local Publix or something. Because you know how sometimes your grocery store sells really good cleaning products too. Like weird ones, you know? Anyway, it feels good to have that done. Everything feels fresher all around my house. I wanted to give you a walk around our house. How, like how it looks nice and stuff. But I ended up just showing you the mountain of laundry that I had. That's the one room I didn't get to and I didn't care about it. As a matter of fact, the day after this, the kids and I and Alex, we, um, you know, went through all of this together and put the laundry away. And it did take us a while, but it's done. But thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time here with me. If you did subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.